hello guys and welcome back to another video tutorial on editech channel on today's video i'll be designing team clock so i'll be designing this clock right here and here i have a dark mode if i click on this or the background will change the dark and if i click on the light mode it will change back to light and if you can check my time here it might the time on my screen right here and i will be accomplished this using html css and javascript and if you love to design this on your own keep watching this video from the beginning to the end and don't forget to smash the subscribe button like and click on the notification bell to see the new uploaded video all right guys let's move straight to the our code page all right here are my estimate uh here are my file I have the index the script and the style so let me open this on my code editor so i normally i normally make use of visual studio code so you can use any code of your choice all right so here is the estimated file i've already created this here so i will just explain everything to you guys so i have my document type so here's the html i open it right here i have my language inside and i close it right there so if you're working with html definitely if you open the html you're gonna close it right down here so inside i have my head so inside this head i have the meta with the chat set I have the meta name which is view spot content with device width and it just scale 1.0 so I have my link so here is the link to the CSS you can see my CSS here so here is the link to the CSS and here is my title so the team clock and this would the name of my channel which is the head tech so that's all about the head so here's the body so i open the body here and close it down here so every work we're gonna be working on will be in between the body so i have my button here and i close it down here so this button or the dark so yes we are gonna change it i'm gonna change it to dark moon light moon so that's it so i created the teeth here and i close it down here so uh, with the class clock i have a container so here's another div i can open it up here and close it um down here as well so in between the div i have some other divs inside so this div the class is clock so you have this div open close here so the class is needle hours so i have the div with the class needle minute so i have another div with the class needle seconds and i have another div with the class center i have a point so here's another div here within the cl the class is time and another div the class is did so that's all about the html code for this particular work so let's go back to our our css so here's our css so like i used to say i covered this from the font.google.com so you can go there and get your own as well so as usual i have my box sizing which is the border i have a box so here's the root so the primary color so the secondary color so here is the HTML, so this transaction that will be all 0.5 s else in. So HTML with dark. So I have this primary color, secondary color. So then you have the HTML dark. So the so the primary sorry HTML dark. So the background color. I have the background color so here's the color which will be dark so the um color is what in bracket this primary color all right guys here's the body so 
bodies are from html so if the body is from html the body from html so we're going to be styled that so the fonts family that will be hebrew comma sand sheriff so i have a display which is flex the align item so that will be center so the justify the justify content so that's center so the height that's vh so the flow overflow so that will be hidden so the margin will be zero so here is the toggle that's from the html here is it so the class for the body so gonna style that so the cursor will be pointer so the background color will be vine bracket primary having color so the color will be in bracket secondary color so the border will be zero so the border radius but I have a radius so that will be four pixel so the padding that will be eight pixel eight pixel so the position will be absolute so the top will be 100 pixel so after that we're gonna move to the so toggle focus so the outline will be none so all right so the clock have a container so the display will be flex the flex have a direction with the column justify content that will be space between so the hairline items that will be center so the clock now so we're gonna start the clock so all these are from html so i'm gonna start the clock so the position will be relative the width will be 200 pixels the height will be 200 pixel as well so here down here we have the needle so we can still remember so here's the one needle so i'm gonna style that so the needle the background color with the vine bracket prime color so the position will be absolute the top will be 50 the width the left 50 the width the height will be 65 pixel the width will be 3 pixels so the transform origin that will be bottom center so this transaction all 0.5 circles in else in so needle are ours now so the transform will be translate minus 50 degree minus 100 degree rotation will be in bracket zero degree so the needle time so transform will be translate in bracket minus 50 degree minus 100 degree the rotation will be zero degree height will be 100 pixel so we have the seconds we have our needle the seconds that seconds so the transform will be translate in bracket minus 50 minus 100 both in degree so rotation will be zero degree so the height will be pixel ah sorry minus 50 percentage minus 100 percentage something applicable to all these pardon me for that so the height will be 100 pixel so the background color here will be the color so we have the center point so here is our center point so this is the class center point so the center point so that will be none background color so um, in bracket prime color so the width will be five pixel height five pixel the position will be absolute
all right with five pixel at five pixel pixel position will be absolute the top will be 50 degree uh, percentage so the left will be 50 percentage so the transform will be translate and bracket 50 minus 50 minus 50 percentage so the border radius will be percentage 50 percentage as well so we have the time we have the date so here's the time so the font time the font size for the time will be 60 pixel so date so the here's the color for the date so the font size will be 14 pixel so the letter spacing that will be 0 0.3 pixel so the tra the text transform that will be in upper case so we have the date and the circle so the background color so here will be the primary color so the color will be secondary color so the border border radius that will be 50 percentage so the height will be 18 pixel the width will be 18 pixel so the display display will be in line flex so the align item that will be center so the justify will be the justify content that will be center so the line the line height so that will be 18 pixel so the transaction all the whole 0.5 x in so the font size will be 12 pixel so that will be here is all about the css for this particular code a uh, particular work so that's all about the css so let's go straight to the javascript here's our javascript for this so let me just let me explain this you know all right we have const hours we have minute the second time date toggle so all these these and we have document dot query selector so we have it for everything right here so this line all this line all this line use document dot query selector to select various element with specific class or id so this element will be used to display the clock time date and to toggle between the dark and the what's it called the light mode so this is what all this place is um, working for and we have the const um day we have the month so the day would monday to saturday sunday to saturday so the month would january to december so this array store the name of the day of the week and the month to be used later in the code for the to explain the current date that's what here this two are what's it called doing so we have the toggle dot add event listener so in bracket we have the click now that bracket we have the it go to greater than with a called bracket so everything here so we have the cost html equals a document query selector in bracket so we have if html dot class list container in bracket dark all this html dot class list dot remove in bracket tag e dot target dot in html equals to tag else html class list dot added tag 
e dot target unite theme equals to light mode so yeah so this code added a class listener to the toggle element you understand so when the user click on the toggle element it toggles the dark class on the HTML element switch between the dark to light mode so it also updates the text content of the toggle element to indicate whether it is in dark mode or it is in light mode so that's what he is talking about so um let's go down to we have the function you know the function set time in bracket in this called bracket and inside we have the cost time equals to the new date we have the cost month equal to the time generate month we have the day equal to the time key dot get by day so we have the day equal to the time dot get by day and what equal to get dot get uh, time dot get hour so the hour from clock equals to equals to hour so greater than equal to 13 question mark hours percentage 12 dot hours so the cost minute equals to the time so get the minute so seconds equals to the time so here and we have this am pm equals to the hour so 12 pm and am so all this let me, let me explain this this function is responsible for the settings the time on the data clock so it creates a new data object sorry it creates a new date data object to get the current data and time so it extra the month day date hours minutes seconds and the weather it is am or pm so it calculate the um what is it called the rotation angle from the hour minute and seconds and based on the correct time so it update the html content of the hour el from the top here so the minute e el so the second here the time here is still the date here you have to display the current time and date so that is what sorry yes <laughs> instead of so that's all what this is all about so here's the hour here the minute here the seconds here time here the date here so that's what is doing so we now have this the cost scale in bracket with all these norms in minute in max out mix out max return the norms go to in mix in bracket out max out in in max in mint plus out mean so this is the um utility function used to map a range of number to another range that's what this is what working for it takes a time uh, sorry it takes a number which is the norms and scale it from the input range input range this in minute minute and in maxi to the output range of output meaning mean and output max so that's what this is talking about so here yeah, this set the time so this set the time function is initial 
this set time function is in initially called called to set the time on the clock it is called once to display the current time and the date when the page loads so that's this set time so we now have the set interval bracket settings so this line set of the interval to call the set time function every 1000 miles seconds in bracket one second so this keep the clock updated in real time so these are <coughs> so these are all the javascript code for this um, particular job a particular work and it makes it look perfect and great so oh so all right guys here's the work you can turn to dark you can turn to light mode so it look great, great and perfect so all right guys that will be all on this video tutorial today so i would like you guys to smash the subscribe button click on the notification bell to see the new uploaded video thanks for watching see you on the next video